expecting from us okay so you go so the dimensions are in inches okay so for this one what we're gonna do is we're gonna use different plane and then we're gonna use a new function called sweep so i ask you guys to take your laptop your computer out and try to be doing it together with me so without wasting any time what we're gonna do you're gonna go in my home from there we're gonna go new new after that we're gonna go in inches standards create so now what i need to tell you guys we need first for this kind of drawing to know where is your origin where is your origin plane that you are using so the origin plane is x y which one it is it's x y so now i'm gonna draw this line then i'm gonna give the dimension so from the to the as per our drawing that need to be 2.5 inches so after that come again so after that what i'm gonna do i'm gonna draw this arc as per our drawing specification so that need to be tangent that for constraint that for constraint data that need to be tangent to that it is already tangent then the dimensions that one need to be 0 0.5 inches as per our sketch then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make this line i'm gonna make this line this line need to be straight it's landing straight and for constraint that's one need to be parallel to that one it is so the dimension from v to v that one need to be 0 0.44 inches all right all right so then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go with that okay i'm gonna get that line the angle v need to be 40 degree and then that and that need to be tangent so after that's what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna draw oh i'm saying i'm gonna draw this arc v as per our drawing today we having a lot of a lot of arc to be drawing there you go so just just make sure about something i don't need that okay so that one and that one sketch ready exit thank you so then i'm gonna have that spot there i'm gonna have that spot there where does this need to go so you need to go up to the okay so i'm gonna have that one there and from the to the that's one as per our sketch need to be 0 0.5 inches there we go then after that what i'm gonna do is oh i need this other arc so i need this arc there so that's one there that need to be tangent and that one they need to be 0 0.5 sorry 0.5 inches then after that i'm gonna go with that sorry i'm gonna go with that Am I ready? Oh, it's fine. So I'm gonna go with that one and this one and that one need to be that need to be tangent. So I don't need you. After that, I'm gonna go for this other arc. Where need to be? Where does that need to be? That need to be the so then there we go 
and then that one and that one need to be tangent then after that i'll go for my last line that and that need to be tangent okay and from the to the that one need to be 40 oh sorry 40 degrees so there we go so i hope that is tangent did i mention it sorry okay that is tangent now that's and that is tangent all right so i'm gonna trim the spot day i'm gonna trim the spot day this end doesn't need to be tangent that end doesn't need to be tangent that's perfect so now after i've done this one after i've done this one i'm gonna say i'm gonna go on there then that's here need to be the center line that's one that's one sorry that's one first this one that's one okay so after that i'm gonna finish my drawing i'm gonna say finish okay then after that as i said you need to know your original plan of drawing so i'm gonna go on the z y plane there we go then i'm gonna draw the a okay then i'm gonna give the sizes the size of my profile so that's one they as per our drawing, drawing that one needs to be 0 0.112 inches we're done with that one so what we need to do now i'm gonna say finish sketch here what we need to do now so what i need to do now i need to remove that line of mine i don't need it so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go on sketch there then i say edit sketch i'm gonna remove that one because it was just for help so after i remove that then i'll say finish sketch from there i need to go in my third sorry in my three dimension model so now i'm gonna use the sweep function and so here in three dimension what we're gonna do is we're gonna press the function sweep so far we haven't used that and then there we need to we see that's written path profile so i go on path then i click the path that i want the profile to to, to, to follow that is the profile with the dimension of 0 0.1 one two inches then i click the path then with the uh, the profile has followed already then i go okay so there you can see our sample is done so there you can see it is done so then what you can do is you can then go up then generic and give the material that you want it to be so stainless steel there we go so this is our lock pin so please guys i hope that you enjoyed this video and uh as i was saying please subscribe so that we can be sharing stuff together for the next uh time to come so for now i'm gonna ask you to take care of yourself and uh please see you next time don't forget to share this video and don't forget to subscribe for the next videos thank you so much and uh, see you bye